It is very unfortunate, really, what happened to uh, Jamal, uh, an innocent uh, human being uh, that we lost, and, and the government made it clear that we will bring those who are responsible to justice. Actually, we held the first open uh, court uh, hearing uh, a couple of weeks back, and, and, and we'll leave that to the court. But the government is also determined to make sure that the system, uh, the fallout in the system is fixed, and, and there is a lot of uh, work in that direction. But However, are you worried that investors don't believe the line they're getting from the Saudis, that there's been separation and it doesn't really go all the way back to the Crown Prince? Are you happy that investors are confident that the, the links are not there? I, I believe the investors believe what we said. Uh, what, when we went to the market in January, the, the investors gave us a vote of confidence in the economy, but also in our commitment to making sure that the reform continues at all levels, legal, economic, fiscal, and obviously social. Uh, we have significant social reform taking place in Saudi Arabia that is embraced by the people, and we are responding to the people need of Saudi Arabia. I have to ask you, you've just been in Lebanon over the last couple of days, and we've just seen Qatar uh, deciding to help Lebanon out to the tune of some $500 million uh, bonds. I have to ask you, is Saudi Arabia prepared to make the same kind of commitment? Because obviously um, there are a lot of questions, I know, in the mind of your government about Qatar and its influence. I was there in Lebanon. I headed uh, the Saudi delegation to the summit. Uh, I had a very constructive discussion with uh, Saad Hariri, uh, the, the uh, prime minister. Uh, we are looking forward to him finalizing the, the government uh, formation. Saudi have been and continue to be a very important catalyst of stability in Lebanon. We are interested to see stability in Lebanon and we will support Lebanon uh, all, all the way.